Hello again party people and welcome back. New video of Crooks allegedly being on the roof was released and a viewer named Woody makes some good points about it. Why is this video footage only being released now? Why wasn't it released before when the other footage was released? Could it be because it's fake footage? Maybe? Let's look closer. Now when this cop arrived in front of the building, there is no other cop car in front of the building. As you can see, this cop arrived at 6.08 and 58 seconds p.m. How is this possible when the other cop car arrived in front of the building first? Now here is the video of the other cop car arriving first. The time of this cop arriving is 6.09 and 1 second p.m. As you can see, when this cop arrives the other cop car had not arrived yet. Now, when this cop gets out of his cop car, his chest camera shows the other cop has arrived. Now when this first cop car arrives, you see a dark shadow in front of the building. So this shadow, the other cop car that arrived first? No, because the other arriving cop car proves that it was just a hedge that is against the building. So the shadow seen in the other cop car dash cam video was just this hedge. While each cop car's arrival times are just seconds apart, they are conducting an investigation and the information isn't accurate. So can we trust anything else they say? You decide, party people. Lieutenant Harold, I'm going to direct the first line of questioning to you since this is state police footage. Footage and evidence show that Crooks was on the roof of the AGR building for over three minutes before shots were fired. Lieutenant Harold, please describe those few minutes leading up to the shots, shots fired from your vantage point. My, my position when the shots were fired, I was behind the stage. Um, I can't answer to any, any questions regarding uh, Mr. Crooks on the roof because I did not have that information. Uh, I was behind the stage. It was it was very loud, and and if it was transmitted over our portables, I did not hear that. But I had returned to my car briefly uh, once uh, the former president had taken the stage to uh, retrieve uh, a cell phone that had first net, and then I was returning back to the stage when the uh, first shot rang out. Since this cop said he was behind the stage and returned to his car before returning to the backstage area. I think this cop is the cop that filmed this footage you are watching now that has no volume. This cop said he did not hear anything on his radio about crooks being on the roof. So why wasn't he asked why he started running before the first shots were fired? How did this cop know to run towards the fence facing the building where the shots would come from seconds later if he didn't know anything about anyone being on the building roof? Officer Blasco, same question. At that time, I was, uh, I was at Brady Paul, and I was working my way over to the AGR building uh, to assist other Butler Township units uh, with looking for crooks. As I got to uh, the water tower, I parked underneath the water tower um, and began to make my way to AGR. That's when the shots rang out. This cop said he was parked under the water tower, so this is the cop car he was in. And here is this same cop knocking on the building door to let cop sniper Greg's wife in the building. Now the following cop confirms what I said long ago. That the first time someone was spotted on the roof was at 6.08 and 20 seconds p.m. As I correctly said, it was the cop walking the pole line that first spotted someone on the roof. Commander Lenz, you were reportedly the first person to call out shots fired over the radio. Were you aware that someone was on the roof or that he was armed prior to the shots being fired? Also, please describe those few minutes leading up to shots fired from your vantage point. For the first two questions, yes, I was aware through radio traffic that there was somebody on the roof and also that he was armed. Uh, the first report that there was somebody on the roof came uh, on a different radio channel than the tactical units were operating, which would be PD Ops 3. 
uh, and that transmission at 18.08 and 20 seconds is somebody's on the roof. We have been told that the Secret Service did not have radio communication with the local cops, but these are local cops being interviewed, and this cop admits he contacted a command sergeant in the command center. The state police and Secret Service shared the same command center in the white tent behind the stage. Therefore, as I correctly said long ago, the Secret Service clearly received the information because the snipers on the south barn turned around and faced the building. And the Secret Service suit walked up to the fence facing the building before the shots were fired, as he knew someone with a rifle was on the roof. Uh, at 1809... I made a phone call to the PSP sergeant in the Secret Service Command Center and relayed the information that there was a suspect on the roof of the AGR building. For the first two questions, yes, I was aware through radio traffic that there was somebody on the roof and also that he was armed. And despite knowing someone with a rifle was on the roof facing the stage, the Secret Service left Trump on the stage. It's simply unreal. The information these cops provided during this hearing day was a huge win for Corey's family. They are going to sue the shit out of the Secret Service, and they are going to win. Thanks for the heads up about this video, Woody, and thanks for watching my video party people.